everybody and welcome back to my channel hope you guys are all well and not being blown away soaked to the skin on a regular basis oh my goodness this british weather really needs to buck its ideas up it's we're in april now come on where is spring and saying that today is quite a gusty day um yeah i'm gonna that's really annoying me that the uh, banging in the background so let's just open that now that the horses are in I got them in quite quickly. I was going to start this and I was going to muck out before bringing them in. But Addy is like the annoying little sister. They have been out in the front field because I didn't want to have any problems of catching said ponies. Um, but I don't know. I don't know whether Addy feels because she is very fortunate to be out in a 10 acre field most days. But then when she's out in this one, it's almost like it's a bit of a smaller field, maybe a bit claustrophobic. But she was just, like I say, being the annoying little sister. Come on, Sprite, I want to play. I'm not bothered about eating. I just want to gallop around, fuck out, rearing, fucking, you name it. The things Hi. that you like to see them do in the field, but don't want them to do when you're on board. So hopefully we don't have any of that and you've got that out of your system, Addy, because we are actually heading off to Coleraine. You're quite wired, aren't you? I'm a bit scared. You're a bit wired. Yeah, you are a bit wired. <sighs> We're off to Coleraine to do some unaffiliated show jumping. Now, admittedly, I would have preferred to have been a little bit more prepared because I was hoping to get out there this week and then it's been a busy work week for me, uh, financial year end, which I'm quite heavily involved in. So work has been quite demanding. And the day that then I thought about going, I didn't, act, wasn't prepared enough and looked up to see that it was already booked out and somebody was teaching there for the day. So I wasn't unfortunately able to get up there, which I would have liked. We did go to a different school instead. And to be honest, why there's not been a lot of vlogs, guys, because I've really not been doing very much. I've Yes, we've been sort of building on our fitness, getting out for some longer hacks. We've been to arenas and set up different jumps and schooling and things like that, but just kind of building up her fitness. She's got a bit of an MOT this week. We've got Lauren coming out and also Amelia coming to do her teeth. So that's all being done this week. And then I feel... We will be good to go and that's why i just thought about getting out today like i say i did want to be a little bit more pre prepared and get out there first but it's all unaffiliated i have entered 80 and 90 just to go there get a couple of rounds under our belt and yeah literally zero pressure today i'm just hoping that she doesn't come out like she did at the christmas team jumping when she hadn't been out for a little while and she's not like that in the warm-up but hopefully like i say she's got that all out of her system in the field but just got to do the usual i'm going to actually take her tacked up out there so that she is all ready and then when i get there i can go straight up walk the course come back down get on just pop the bridle on and we're right at the end of our class and then it will be probably won't even get off i doubt before getting in for the second round as long as they don't change the course obviously but i also feel like i need to do this for my own self as well as get back into the arena it is completely different competition atmosphere and you feel like you need arena competition practice yourself so that is what we are going there for today she hasn't been out anywhere competition wise weeks possibly even months it actually could be months. I don't know when the last time was. I might have to have a little look and I'll put it on screen here. <laughs> so it's been a little while, hence that we're just doing the 80 and the 90, I think. And I'm trying really hard to like be careful of my language and to be positive and all of that. But from past experience, I know that sometimes she can be a little bit spooky when we first get going, which is why I've entered the two classes, because I feel the 80, she should be absolutely fine, fly over, and then hopefully anything that she does find spooky out and around. I don't think ju the jumps are never the problem. It's more the surroundings and any banners or corners or especially things in this wind. So just to get her out and be like, right, the messy ones out of the way if you know what i mean i i feel it probably is going to be a bit messy she's probably going to go a bit green on me and that's absolutely fine and that's why we're doing it just so that we can get it sort of under a belt and move on from it they have got another competition on next weekend which is a one day event but like in an arena so you've got your dressage test and then i'm guessing they're going to have a bit more like cross country style fences so i thought actually that would be really good as well is to get her then to a dressage and then 
my first BE. I need to get out and jump some solid fences, hopefully get less than maybe up at Pontisball or somewhere like that. I need to get somewhere um, because I would like to just get over solid fences and then get that first event entered with the ground. I mean, Tina has gone off to Lark Hill today, so wishing her and Banks all the best of luck. Um, I have to have a little sneaky peek on eventing school, see how they've gotten on. But I think she might be only doing her dressage at the moment, but they've got up there safely and they're walking the course. I know that much. Sorry, I feel like I'm full on just blah, 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 rambling at you guys. And yeah, I suppose because I haven't picked up the camera for a while again. And that is why there's just not been a lot on and I'm not very good at vlogging things for vlogging sake. So apologies that it is a bit hit and miss, but as lessons start to come up, we get out to more things. The weather hopefully brightens up. More vlog content will be created and coming to a screen near you. Yes, it will, lovely. But with everything obviously being abandoned, I haven't really pushed to get out there eventing quite yet. I have gone through, all the dates are in the diary and there are lots of them throughout the year that I can get to. So we might not start right at the bang, like right at the beginning of the event season, but we can make up for it throughout the season. And yeah, once we start, then they just carry on rolling, which is exciting. But it's whether I go up midweek and do Calmston, which to be honest, I think I need to enter by the 9th, um, which is probably coming up in literally a couple of days. Yeah, I think I need to make my decision on that. Maybe if I get it entered, it would sort of drive me. And with Lark Hill actually running this weekend, that kind of makes me feel more positive that it would run as well. Other than that, it is waiting until the rescheduled Bovington, which is the first weekend in May, just before badminton. So I don't know whether just to leave it till then, and hopefully, like I say, ground and everything should be dried up by then, or go for this midweek and perhaps do Bovington as well. I can't, yeah, that's my decision I've got to make in about 48 hours, so. Yeah, I need to maybe look to see when I can get up jumping solid fences, maybe possibly get out on grass. I feel like that, it just feels crazy. If I look at my grass now, I'm like, oh, I don't know whether I'd want to go out and around on that. But anyway, enough rambling from me. Shall we get you all smartened up? Yeah, her summer coat's coming through and it's looking absolutely gorgeous. But yeah, let's get her out. Mucking out can wait till later, can't it, Spritey? Because you're only going to make more mess in there. You'll get to go out in the field when we're gone. It will only be a couple of hours, which is nice. It's nice and close, only 15 minutes up the road to get there. Christopher is coming and I possibly think my mum is as well, but I'm not quite sure. All right, let's get you out and smarten you up. Hmm, that's a bit wild, aren't you? But, uh, I I think you might have been galloping around a little bit more than I was, I anticipated. Um, and you need washing off more than smartening, but we can. Tidy up your legs, because they're rather muddy. But yes. Hmm. Wash you off and get your dry rug on, and then you're dry. And then we get out there, won't you? Yes. you We are doing super well for time. It's just coming up 10 to 1 and I want to leave in about half an hour. So yeah, like I say, doing well. Addy should be dry underneath her dry rug. I've just gone up and hitched up the trailer. So that is all ready to go. My trailer, I don't think I'll be able to show it on the floor. It desperately needs cleaning out but to do that I need to get it up in the field to give it a good brush out I can't do it up on the top because hay will just go absolutely everywhere but of course the ground is so wet and I haven't been able to do it but it's 
driving me bonkers because I keep looking at it and I'm like, oh, it needs to do it. Obviously the poo and everything, that's all been cleaned out um, regularly, but it's just hay and stuff at the front and it just really needs a good brush out and pressure wash. But yeah, I'm waiting for spring to arrive so I can do like that proper spring clean. Very much like my tap room and feed room. It was all nice and neat and it just seems to go not nice and neat, very unneat. Very, yeah, anyways, let's not worry about that. That's not today. Um, but I've just grabbed their feed bowls because I thought I would give Addy, I'm basically wanting to aid her and help her any which way I can to hopefully keep her calm. Because I do think, like I said, with this wind not being out for a while, she is gonna be pretty excited and maybe a little bit exuberant. So I'm just gonna give her some chaff because she's obviously been in, she's got a halogen there, but she's not really eating that. But if I just pop some chaff, so I have got the Addy is on. Oh, actually, oh, that's a rubbish bag. Um, Molly chaff light Addy is on. So I just thought if I give her a bit of that, that will just help ease the stomach, make sure that she's got something in there um, for when we're traveling in the trailer and also when we're out there exercising because I think she's gonna be looking around and not wanting to be eating. So it just keeps, I think it's like the acid, I might say this all wrong, but like the acid um, is still being produced in her stomach, but of course to digest the food, but if there's no food in there, then that's what can cause her just to be a little bit like gastric ulcers isn't it really but just to keep her a little bit happier oh there is a scoop in there let's get out the scoop from there so i just thought i'll give her a little bit of that now just whilst maybe i get myself changed and then we'll get her out sprite obviously has to have some as well because i can't miss her out we'll pop some water in that and then i'm also <laughs> going to be taking one of these Petrocarm from Animal Life. Um, I think I will, regardless of how she seems when I get out there, I just think, again, this might just help level her down, have a little bit less spookiness. Um, so she will most definitely be having that. So that can go in my bag, ready to go. Um, I do need to take, ideally, you need to give them to horses straight into the mouth, but Addy doesn't like it. So I have to, again, pop a little bit into chaff, which she then gobbles up. Um, so I do it that way because it's much easier. Um, but yeah, I'm just looking around and checking that I have got everything, but it feels like a long time. And also just like working out timings, like what time do I need to leave? I'm on it this time, I walk the course that time. It all just, you've got to get used to doing it again, haven't you? But yeah, anyways, let's give the pony this, get myself changed and covered back up again so that I can't get dirty. And then it'll be time to get Addy tacked up and into the box. And we are ready to rock and roll, aren't we? Yeah, she's calmed down loads actually, which is very nice. Um, I am, yeah, all ready for wet weather gear now. I've got my jumpers on, which I've got to admit is another win that they actually still fitted because, uh, yeah, I have started up my fitness as much as you, oh my goodness, you've got a mucky eye. Um, I have started up my fitness, but probably not quite in the shape that I would like to be or it's beginning of the season. I'm never, yeah, to, to be expected, um, especially when you've had pretty much like six weeks off of not doing a lot, but back to intervals yesterday, which in the tipping down rain was fun, was, I enjoyed that. Anyways, as we get a vent in and you're doing all the course walks and the lessons and everything like that, it's surprising actually how much that keeps you fit. And like, I didn't even ride for several weeks and even that I felt like I lost quite a lot and then I felt a bit wobbly when I got back in the saddle. But we're getting there, aren't we? Yes, um, I have just popped the rope head collar on her because she ha has been having a couple of little moments about going in the box. But when I've got somebody on the ground with me, or somebody with me helping, it's much, much easier. But I was on my own on Friday and yeah. But I did it, I did manage to do it. Um, it just takes a little bit of extra time. But Dad's up there ready for us. So we're gonna walk up. Oh, you look like you're stretch. You wanna stretch? Um, yeah, so we'll clip the lead rope onto that, obviously not tying her up using that, but I just pop it on underneath that and then take it off when we get into the trailer. Um, but probably typical, I've put that on and she'll walk straight in. <laughs> but better to be prepared, isn't it, missus? Welcome to a very, very windy cold rain. Oh, I've chilled my pony, which I'm oh, sorry. I'm going to be there. Hey, clever. Course is all walked, looking good, 12 fences. Um, and it's time to get up and warm up. 
There's things around the outside up there, but I'm not going to come to that because I remember green light that you're on my legs in the corridor and yeah, just go and um, get a course under our belts. Head around. Hey. Yeah, she's had a car and syringe as well. <laughs> that might be why she's saying, come on. Now I have to say, I thought the warm-up would be a little bit more exuberant, but huge shout out and thank you to Animal Life and their Vetro Calm, because it clearly worked wonders, and I was really impressed with how well she warmed up. However, we did have a little moment, as you see when we got into the top arena, she just took a little bit of a disliking to the pole rack with all the spare poles in the corner. I was planning on coming into this first fence on the left rein, but I changed my mind and thought, let's go on the right rein and just get her over a fence, make her realise and what we're up here to do, and that is to jump. This shot here, I just see the trees moving, so actually, all in all, I'm really pleased with how she behaved with everything, and seeing that it is like her first time out in months. Jump number one to three really nicely. We did then have to go next to, the, or go through the scary corner, but I just kept looking at my line, and yeah, we have what, maybe one and two strides we landed a little bit muddled but we got over it and that is why i entered this 80 because i just wanted to get around under our belts allow it to be messy and not be worrying about massive jumps that we've got to get over i sat back for number six there because i thought she's probably going to look again into that corner you can see when we jumped it we did veer off quite a lot to the left but we regained it She's getting better and better every time she's going through that corner and came back nicely to jump through that related distance. Again, has another little spook at that little brick that's there. But again, then focuses on the fence. Is like, okay, the fence is there. Her little ears are pricked. Again, we go a little disunited. She sorts herself out and we take a little bit of a long one to that. But all in all, actually for her first round back, like I say, for months, I couldn't be more pleased. Here I kind of realised, I was like, oh, we're in a jump off now, aren't we? So I thought, oh, I'll just push you on a little bit, just lengthen that stride, and then over the last fence. And here I thought, this is a great opportunity. We finished our round, and I thought I'd try and get her into that corner as much as I can, because I know that we're coming up to do another round shortly. Very pleased. She obviously, I knew there was going to be things around the outside but as I said the jumps wasn't a problem at all she didn't care about any of the fillers or anything underneath them and um, she just didn't want to go in corners which when you've got to get deep to come across for a related distance it's quite difficult or you've got to jump right down there as well so yes there might have been a couple that were like can you put that back in the keeper just the keeper oh, thank you yes a bit windy but she was very well behaved 
one and all. So she's jumping out for ages and dealing with this wind. So super pleased with her. We have got one more round in the 90. So I'm hoping I finished number 12 and then she sort of stopped. And I thought, right, let's take you over, walk you into it. And we did get a bit closer. So I'm hoping for the second round. She should be a bit better. But pleased with how she actually jumped the jumps. Yeah. Um, I felt like she was making nice shapes and everything. Just trying to get that balance of just trying to get that rhythm and we don't really have that rhythm in the minutes. Hey, you clever girl. She's like, oh, we're here for jumping, oh, okay. That's all right then. <laughs> There's no whiteboards, Addy. That's next week. We'll close your ears. Hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nice to have a mounted prize giving. Well done. So off you go, off you go, uh, Olivia. Doing such groundbreaking stuff. It was a pretty quick turnaround between the 80 and the 90, but can we just appreciate how much better she went into that corner coming up here to do her 90 round. And we were able to come in as I originally planned to jump fence number one from the left rein. She was actually a lot more rideable in this round, which I was pleased with. Much more off of my leg when needing to lengthen, she lengthened. When needing to collect, she collected and still with her ears pricked and enjoying the job in hand we landed there on the wrong leg back to trot picked up canter nice quick transition again here she's just giving that corner a little bit of an outside look but was much nicer to have a few more strides than we did in our 80 round but she is jumping super well and was pleased with how she was feeling now i am noticing and especially in the warm-up that we've just got a little bit of drifting going on in when we're jumping um, so we'll just need to pick that up in our training. We did unfortunately have that one down. I don't think she actually deserved to. I felt like we were on the right striding. We met the fence nice, but just unfortunately tapped it. But then it made her be extra careful over those ones. We got a little bit close on the second part of that related distance. A little tiny spook, not as much as the first round of that brick that they had there. Um, we landed disunited or on the wrong leg she changed halfway um, but did sort herself out before that fence which was good we're a little bit runny down to this one but I was pushing on a little bit more than normal because I was like oh we're into the jump off part again and it's just fun isn't it just to sort of go go on then kick on let's go and over the last and yeah much much better round than our first round and actually really really chuffed with how she was jumping Oh, look, look. It was a bad luck one, really. Yeah, I think the wind helped it, didn't it? 
Yeah, like she just touched it and I think the wind took it with it. Yeah, rather than it just rather than just knocking it and just staying there. I did have my doubts whether it was the right day to bring her, but any time she was a good cold. Dealt with it, didn't you? Yeah. Well done, competitors, and um, grateful thanks for coming out on this windy day here at Koei. And a nice win there for Nipura and Maya Talbot. We're home, everything all sorted. Addy is back out in the field, but I am just gonna grab a pocket full of treats because <laughs> I think she deserves it. She's heard it already. You've heard the treat bag, haven't you? Do you want one, Nala? There you are. She's looking at me. Hello. Hi. Were you a clever girl today? Yeah, did you enjoy it? You were actually much better behaved like around the box in the warm up than I thought you were if I'm honest even mum came out to me before going was like do you think it's wise when it was proper gusts of wind and I was like we've just got to get it over and done with like I said no pressure it does not matter what happens the first round was obviously a bit too much sideways movement that's not quite a wonder I haven't watched anything back yet um but I just remembered what Fred taught me in my last lesson because that was the last lesson that I had before going to the Philippines about being on your corridor and staying on your corridor on your line where you want to go so when she was like that i was like well i want to be on this line and you join that line when you've stopped spooking and actually yes that might have meant that we only had a couple of strides before a couple of fences but you just got on with the job which was really nice it didn't sort of stop her getting over the fences and nothing in the fences was stopped her like any of the fillers or anything like that so really really pleased with how she took that on 90 was obviously an awful lot better you were so good in that and it was really nice i felt like she was so rideable coming back to me um yeah we might have had a couple of little off strides but i just felt like we were in much better rhythm and actually those last few strides of just going well i've picked the stride it's there in front of you and then just sort of allowing her to get up and over and i just felt like she was really jumping nicely i didn't feel that there was any that was sort of taking off from miles out actually felt she was jumping up and over them and using your body well yeah and just i felt like she was enjoying it as much as me i don't quite know what happened like i said i haven't watched anything back yet to know about that pole i felt like we were all we met it correctly on the right stride was in the right rhythm and i just think unfortunately it was just an unfortunate pole like we say so not worried about that it was all about the green today we came home with two of fourths and it was nice that they were doing a mounted prize giving and that we got to go and have a lap of honor don't often do that nowadays do you and yeah really enjoyed that as well and just how she kept her cool and calm and yeah i definitely think giving her the vetrican <laughs> before getting on was a good shout and actually just how i managed everything being ready myself having her tacked up so she didn't have to be sort of tied up and get more sort of ants in the pants anxious around outside the box not that she does she is very good but i just thought with the wind and trailers coming in and out and horses and all i just thought actually it'd be probably easier just to get there get on ride and then get jumping and i actually really think that worked for her today so i'm going to go home and get ourselves entered into next week's competition which is a mini sort of one day event doing a dressage test uh, and then arena sort of cross country for the jumping side of it so we're gonna get i'm gonna get home get myself entered into that and have a good think this evening what i want to do regarding be i need to look and see it when i can get actually to some cross country solid fences and get over them um, and whether i'm able to do that before calmsden which i feel like is not that long away at all maybe a week on tuesday or something oh, i don't know a week on wednesday i need to have a little think uh, and decide or we just leave it until bobbington and actually not put pressure and rush myself but anyways that's things that i need to decide hope you guys have enjoyed this video please do give it a like comment down below and of course hit that all important subscribe button if you don't already but i feel i'm feeling good i'm feeling like woohoo we're back um 
I feel like my mojo has come back in April because that was seriously lacking. And now that we've sort of gotten out and we're at that stage to now progress, let's have some lessons and things like that. I'm feeling like, oh, yeah, all motivated. Nala, I'd get out, sweetie, because otherwise, Addy's going to come over and say hi to you. Yes. Yeah, I'm feeling good. And it's nice to feel my mojo coming back, if I'm honest. Do you feel like your mojo's coming back? Yeah, you're good for that, aren't you? Yeah. We're going to get a vent in soon. Yes, oh, nice. Nice bit of full slobber there. Anyways, I'm completely rambling, which I'm aware that I've rambled quite a lot in this vlog. But I hope you guys are all well. I have got no more treats, so please stop mugging me. But yeah, I hope you guys are all well, and we will catch you very, very soon in the next video. Won't we? Yes. Say bye. <laughs> bye. Mwah.